Hi everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today, as you can tell from the title, I have a weekly wrap-up plus a little bit of a haul. It is Thanksgiving Eve, so I'm going to try to get through this really quickly because I know you want to get to your families and spend time with them and enjoy them, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. So I have three books to wrap you up on, a book I'm currently reading, and some really great, exciting books that I want to share with you. Um, so I tried to kick my butt into gear this weekend, and I got three books done this weekend, so that was pretty impressive. The first book I picked up was The Girls in the Garden by Lisa Jewell. I got this book from Reading with Pugs, so Jen, she sent this to me because I really loved this cover. She didn't give it that fabulous of a review, but I was like, I still want to read it, so she sent it to me. Um, and it's about, um, this girl she's found dead in this, like, community living area like it's like all these apartments but they're kind of community because they share this like park kind of thing it's in the UK I don't know if that's like typical of what things are like over there I don't know so it's kind of hard for me to like relate to that but um so the girl is found dead and then it like that's the prologue and then it immediately we don't know who's dead and then it like goes back like months earlier to see what happened to lead up to this. Um, so, well, actually, no, I think we do know who dies, like, pretty much right off the bat, come to think of it. Let's check this out. No, actually, you do know who's dead. Um, so you're kind of reading this book, trying to figure out kind of who did it. Like, so you're going through the back history. It wasn't as I was, like, what I was expecting, because I wasn't expecting to, like, backtrack to try to figure out who it was. I thought it would start, like, we found her dead. Here we go. Like, this is how we were going to figure out who did it. Versus, like, let's go back to the past to figure out who did it. So it was all right. I think I gave it three, three and a half stars. It just wasn't what I was expecting. There's a lot of vulgar language for girls. Like, the girls are only, like, 11 and 12 in this book. And they come off so much older. Um, they're swearing and just, like, sexual content and things that, like, you wouldn't expect from them. And... Yeah, I thought that was a little weird, but I still enjoyed it. Like, I enjoyed it more than I was expecting, but it wasn't what I was expecting, if that makes sense. And then on Saturday, I picked up, after I finished that, I picked up Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis, Sepetis. I never can say her name right. Um, this is my second book that I've read by her. The other book I read was um, something easy. Out of the Easy. Is that right? Yeah, Out of the Easy, um, which was kind of like a retelling uh, with, not retelling, but historical fiction in the South. And then this book takes place during World War II. And I got sucked into this book because the chapters are so short. It alternates perspective between four different characters and eventually all four characters' lives intermingle. Um, there's one character that I cannot stand. I just despised and I couldn't figure out like what his true story was um but like the chapters are so quick you get so sucked in by the end I thought I was going to cry there was one scene where like I started tearing up and then I read another chapter about the guy that I don't like so it like took me out of the moment and then at the very end there's like this letter and I like for some reason like had to reread that like five times before I finally like understood it and I was like asking questions I made like Patrick read it like to see if I I, I don't know it somehow psh, over my head and I don't know why so I ended up giving this book four stars then I decided that I was finally going to pick up another review book and I picked up The Loyal Heart by Shelley Shepard Gray and I did decide to pick this up one other time and I had it with me and I was like I'm not ready for it. Like, I just, for some reason, I just wasn't ready for it. This is historical fiction. This takes place right after the Civil War ends, and it's about this guy, and he is off at war, and he basically tells his people, like, his other soldier friends, like, if I die, like, please go take care of my wife. Obviously, he dies, so um, this other soldier is now going to try to console his wife and make her life better because where she's living in Texas... They're trying to say that her husband was a traitor, and so they all are, like, completely rude to her, 
And so, like, because, like, she wants to stay in her house, she started making it, like, a boarding house so that she could afford to keep living there and things ensue. I really enjoyed this book. I came very close to giving it five stars. But then I was like, well, I'm not, I didn't feel super gushy about it. Like, oh my god, I love this book. So I was like, I can't give it five stars. So I decided to give it four instead because there wasn't that, like, oh my god, like, I can't wait to go brag about this book. But it was still really, really good. Like, it kept me engaged. Like, I was expecting it because it's historical fiction. I was expecting it to be kind of hard to follow. And I read this book in one day. It was 300 pages. Really good. Totally recommend it. Um, as I said, I was sent this book in exchange for an honest review from the Fiction Guild. Review still to come. <laughs> Um, and then the book I'm currently reading right now is Wither by Lauren DeStefano. I've been wanting to read this book for a while. This is the first book in a trilogy. I have this book and the third book and I figured I better just read this one because what if I don't even want to continue with the series and then I could just get rid of the third one? Slash maybe I'll really love it. You never know. But right now I'm kind of having mixed feelings about it. I started it on Monday. I didn't read any of it yesterday and I haven't read any of it today. So we'll see. Um, it's about a world where you, if you're a male, you basically die of this virus when you're 25, and when you're a girl, I believe you die when you are 20. Yeah. So they have created this system because they're trying to figure out the solution, so they are basically making these child brides, pretty much, so that way they continue to reproduce to try to figure out what is going on. She, it follows our main character, and she's kind of kidnapped in married off to this man and she's trying to figure out her life she wants to escape there's also another side character which looks like it's going to be kind of like a love triangle thing so we'll see I'm not very far I'm only um 130 pages I'm in the middle of the chapter clearly I just like stopped randomly I don't know why but we'll see hopefully I can finish this before Thanksgiving break is over now, one thing that I've been meaning to show you is um, The Trespasser by Tanya French. This is the book of the month book that I got for the $5 deal thing. This is not the first book in her series. It's in the In the Woods series, and I don't have that one, but I felt like I could probably still read this one by itself. So I decided to try it out. It's humongous. It looks like when you get books from the book of the month like they give you like a special edition like this says like I heart book of the month November 2016 book of the month is right here you get a magnet um book of the month and even like the, this says like book of the month November 2016 which I think is still pretty neat I don't know if that would just happen to be this book because it was my first book or if they all come like that I don't know so that was interesting and I'm excited to get to this one and then I got a really surprise package today. I got two actually and I didn't know what they were. I almost did an unboxing but I knew I had to bake a lot of things and I needed to get that done before I could um, like make a video so I just had to unbox it. Now the Fiction Guild for some reason sometimes thinks my name is Rochelle. So I get packages from Harlequin saying, I think it's Harlequin, yeah, saying Rochelle. And sometimes they get packages saying Nicole. So I don't know what's going on with that. But, like, I've never gotten, like, duplicate packages before. It's always been either to Rochelle or Nicole. End of story. Now I just got two packages, and they were identical packages. One was to Rochelle. One was to Nicole. And um, one had the Fiction Guild letter in it, and the other one didn't. So I don't really know what was going on with that, but I basically got two duplicate packages. I have not decided what I'm going to do with the duplicate package yet, but I'm so excited to show you with what I got in the box. So I opened it up, and it had this tote bag in it, and it says, Stories Make Us More Alive, More Human, More Courageous, More Loving by Madeline Langle. Super cute. And you will not believe what came inside this bag. Okay, let me just let me just show you what came in this bag. I'm so excited. I got Love Bears All Things by Beth Weissman. I don't even know what this is about, but it looks exciting. I got Child of the River by Irma Jobert. 
I don't, I don't really know, but they're gorgeous. I got The Candidate by Elise Weil. It looks like it's supposed to be like a political thriller, possibly. I don't know. And then I got Long Way Gone by Charles Martin. Like, come on, there's hardcover books in here. Like, I'm just like so grateful and so amazed. And I freaked out. Um, A Royal um, Christmas Wedding by Rachel Hawk. She's the same person who wrote The Wedding Dress, which I loved. And I have The Wedding Shop on my shelf that's waiting to me, for me to review it. So that was really exciting. And then the book that I literally screamed about because I almost pre-ordered this book and didn't because I was like half on my book buying band. I was like, no, you cannot do that. I'm so excited. Unblemished by Sarah Ella. And if you did not know, Sarah Ella is a YouTuber on YouTube and I love her videos. She is just, I feel like, I don't know, like she used to be a character in Disney World or Disneyland. I'm not sure which one. So, like, I connect to her because of her love of Disney. And her, she wrote a book, and it came out, and it got published, and I'm so excited to own it, and I cannot wait to read this. So, oh, I literally screamed. And I don't know why, but I have a duplicate box with the exact same things in there. So, I'm debating doing a possible giveaway with those. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I want to do just one where it's like the whole thing or if I want to do like split it up so that way I can get to more subscribers. I don't know. But I feel like obviously like I'm not going to keep them and do something else with them because I feel like I get Fiction Guild books because of my YouTube channel and my love of reviewing books. So I feel like I would like to give back that way. I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. So I will let you know eventually what I'm going to do with them. But that was so exciting to come home to today. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys are going to have a really great Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Um, if not, I hope you just have a really great week. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye, everybody.